women view men in suits like guys view women in lingerie. So, as a suit guy, I absolutely love this. But what about when you want to dress down, when you want to dress casual, how to dress in a way so the ladies love it? Well, the first tip is to wear the right shirt, one that draws a little bit of attention to the chest area, has a storied history, and believe it or not, doesn't have a collar. What shirt style am I talking about? Guys, the classic Henley. Now, by definition, a Henley shirt is a collarless pullover. It's characterized by a round neckline and a placket about three to five inches in length. In a nutshell, it's a collarless polo and, in my opinion, one of the most underutilized styles out there. Now, the sleeves can be short or they can be long. Now, where does the name come from? So, let's go back to 1839 and there's traditional rowing going on in England. You got a town, Henley on the Times, and basically, this was the official uniform of that rowing team. Now, what I find really interesting is how this shirt was relatively unknown for about 120, 140 years after it was developed until it was rediscovered by the American fashion industry in the 1980s. Now, to reiterate, Rate, the reason the Henley just works is the options you have with it for a relatively plain shirt. Again, you're drawing attention to the chest area right here with the placket, but also with the long sleeve Henleys, if you're a thinner guy, if you've got a little bit more weight around the midsection, you just wear something a little bit looser and boom, you roll up those sleeves a bit, just pull them up. It looks so good on so many different body types. Next up on this list, the simple t-shirt. And for something so simple, so many guys screw this up by first up getting the wrong fit. You want to make sure it fits you in the shoulder points that you've got about an inch of excess room around the chest and the midsection, not, you know, five inches of excess room. You don't want to have it so tight that everyone can see your body frame underneath. No, you want to have a great fit. Next up, pay attention to the drape. I like something with a little bit of an elastic, a little bit of a stretch to it. I want something that just looks smooth when it's on the body, that doesn't really keep wrinkles, something that just looks quality and is thick enough that you can't see the outline of your nipples or anything underneath the shirt. And finally, when it comes to attraction, you're going to find that the color black, red, and dark blue are going to be the most attractive. White, a lot of women like this as well, but be careful with white shirts. You want to make sure it's clean, no stains, and that it fits you properly. Now, gents, if you're in the market for a well-fitted, high-quality t-shirt or Henley, you need to go check out today's sponsor, Cuts. Now, gents, as a lot of you guys know, I've worked with Cuts multiple times. I love their t-shirts. I've been wearing them because these guys do it right when it comes to casual clothing. Seriously, gents, if you don't know their story, they started off with the simple t-shirt, focusing in on the things that matter to men. First up, they wanted it to fit, so they used the right material. They got a four-way stretch. This stuff is buttery soft. It doesn't pill, and it looks good. When you put a Cuts shirt on your body, it complements your build because it just fits your body perfectly. They also realized guys want it simple when it comes to color. So, they've got their staple colors that their shirts all come in, but they've also got seasonal colors. For you guys that, hey, I wear a t-shirt pretty much every day, but I want to change things up with a variety of different colors, boom, they've got you covered. And when it comes to hem styles, they've got you covered. And Cuts clothing is a lot more than just t-shirts. So, of course, you've got the Henleys, you've got the short sleeve, you've got the long sleeve, a variety of different colors, different styles, made with the same buttery soft material. But let's look at their polos. They've got you covered there. If you're looking for joggers. If you are looking for a hoodie, they've got you covered over at Cuts. And gents, when you're going through their website, don't forget to check their outerwear. They've got some hidden gems over there, the insulated power vest. Love this one right here, just simply the way it makes a man, especially if you take care of yourself. You're in the gym, you can wear this with a t-shirt. It's just a great look that really, again, is going to set you apart from the crowd. And gents, in case you didn't hear, they're having your six-year anniversary sale. This is a big deal for them. The best deals you're ever going to find on Cuts right now. Use that link in the description of today's video. Go over over to Cuts. This is not going to last forever. An awesome company. I love their shirts. I love their Henleys. I love their hoodies. Just such great casual pieces. If you want to level up your wardrobe, go over to Cuts. Just so many, just great options. Awesome company. Proud to support them. Now, before I go to the next item on this list, I want to lay out a few simple rules that apply to pretty much everything. And that is number one, anything you buy, anything you put on your body should fit you properly, specifically your body type. You want to wear clothing that complements your build. Two, practice wearing it. Don't just go buy something, put it on, and wear it out that night. You want to actually get used to it. You want to make sure, hey, I feel comfortable in wearing this. Otherwise, you're wearing a costume. And rule number three, learn to trust yourself. You know what colors look best on you because you've gotten compliments 
on these colors probably since you were a kid. I know for me, right here, maroon is one of my go-to colors. Green as well. Just simply that combination right there, I absolutely love. I say all this because if you go out there and read an article that says, hey, the color red is going to make you more attractive, which there is research that this is true, I don't want you to go out there and buy something that you don't feel comfortable wearing. Now, understand, being unfamiliar with something is different than being uncomfortable. Once you've worn it a few times, you've tried it, you've gotten a few people that have verified, you know what, that looks really good on you. That's a color that you should add to your wardrobe. Give it a shot. And there are so many ways to bring in the color red and layer it with other pieces. Next up, we've got the vest. I know I alluded to it earlier, but I want to give it a little bit more love because the vest is just one of those items. I think women like it on men because they don't see it very often. And so many guys don't know how to pull it off. The key is to get the product proper fit. And you can actually pull off a vest, even if you have a little bit of weight around the midsection, you're a little bit of a heavier guy, even if you're a skinny guy. It does look best though if you're a guy that spends time in the gym and you've got good sized arms. If you're a bigger guy and you still got good sized arms, even if you've got weight around the midsection, just wear a vest that fits you properly, is the proper length. You can maybe just zip it at the bottom or leave it open. Wear it maybe with a contrasting long sleeve Henley. This right here can be a great look. Now, the long sleeve Henley I think can help whenever a guy is really skinny. So, you're relatively thin like I am. Just simply roll it up. Again, you got to go for something that fits a bit closer and, you know, so if you zip it up, it's going to be a little bit tight there. What you don't want though is to go with something overly large. This is the mistake I think a lot of guys make with the vest and the overly large vest. It just doesn't fit right in the shoulders. It's better for it to be a little bit closer of a fit, something actually you could wear maybe an insulating layer underneath. Next up, we've got the hoodie and I was surprised that this one was on the list because I view this as pretty much everybody has a hoodie. but here's the thing, is all the ladies in these lists and all these forums they were talking about, it needs to be the right type. It needs to be warm. It needs to not have a huge logo on it. It should be something that they want to steal, something that looks incredibly comfortable. But when it's on their man, it again fits properly. You notice this pops up a lot. So, the oversized hoodie is not where you want to go. You want something that's going to be in a solid, color, not going to have a whole lot, you know, of uh, distractions on it. This is something that when you pull over, it fits you properly and yeah, it just looks good. It looks comfortable and I think that's what the ladies were drawn to. Now, it's probably not going to surprise many of you that well-fitted, dark colored jeans were on this list and again, they need to fit you properly oversized or overly tight. No, those don't make the list. I do like a little bit of stretch in my denim, a variety of different brands out there. The key here is getting the fit. The key here is also is don't go with overly distressed. Don't go with jeans that are too light in color. You notice white jeans are not on this list. I think a guy can pull off white jeans, but in general, we're going with a dark denim blue. You can go with black. A lot of women love black jeans on men, but in general, they were darker in color and avoiding the distress. Next up on this list, we've got a crisp white button down Oxford. So, when I say Oxford, I refer to actually the type of fabric. This is going to be thicker, heavier. It's going to be just simply a work shirt. You're going to see them in a variety of colors, but the color that kept popping up was white. A lot of women just imagine their boyfriend, you know, with those jeans, with that button down. This is not a dress shirt. Don't confuse it with that. This is going to be more casual. Oftentimes, you will see it with a button down collar, but it doesn't have to. The point being is this is just a great shirt that they just imagine their guy wearing. And a key point with this combination here, is that, especially if you're not going to wear a jacket over it, is that you need to have a decent build. You can have a little bit of weight around the midsection. You can be skinny. This will actually work for you if you're a thin guy. But if you're overly, you just really heavy, you're a big guy. In that case, throw in the sports jacket. I couldn't find many women saying they love a guy in a sports jacket, but they do love a man in a suit. So, I talked about that first point. In a sports jacket, in many people's minds, they don't know the distinction, but what they do know is that when we see a guy with a sports jacket on, especially a heavier big guy, it builds up the shoulders, it slims up the silhouette. And again, you don't want to be fat and sloppy. You want to be large and in charge. And a sports jacket, yeah, there's a, that's a bonus one for you. That being said, if sports jackets aren't your thing, look to leather jackets. Look at suede jackets. I think that the suede jacket, yes, it is something you got to take care of, but this is a man's wardrobe we're talking about. You're not a little boy. So, I want you to step it up and something that, yes, the ladies love touching suede as well. It's a great icebreaker if you're going out with your friends and you want something that sets you apart from the crowd. And speaking of getting the ladies to touch you, the cashmere sweater or maybe a high quality wool sweater. Point being is you want something soft, something that they cannot resist putting their hands on. 
because women find, you know, many things attractive. They're kind of like that. They're going to find it attractive if they want to put their hands on it, if they're drawn to it. The very word, attraction, sometimes they can't even explain it. And this is something that's almost primal, something that's innate, something that as human beings, we want to get close to others. We're social beings and to see something that you want to touch. Yeah. Seriously, invest in a good cashmere sweater in a color that complements your eyes or simply just complements your natural colors. You are not going to look back. It's one of, yeah, just something that the ladies love. And hey, we're entering the fall season here soon. And of course, gents, let's not forget the foundation of a man's wardrobe, his footwear. So, three things I usually look for in a great pair of shoes. You want to up the material, you want to give it some style, and you want to give yourself a bit of height. That's why I like these. They got all three, but you want to stick with sneakers, maybe go with leather sneakers. If you want to stick with your dress shoes, your casual shoes, maybe bring in some style, some different materials, some contrast colors, some broguing. If you are tired of shoes, maybe look at boots. So, this has all three. It's got the broguing, it's made from a leather material, and they are boots. And why go with boots? give you a little bit of height. You know, if you're five foot four, you put on these boots, all of a sudden you're five foot six. If you're six foot two, all of a sudden you're six foot four. Point being is it just slims you up, makes you just look a little bit leaner, meaner, tougher, more masculine. Guys, that's what we're shooting for. And speaking of looking sexier, guys, I got a whole video on that right here. If you're interested in the science behind looking sexier, I've got you covered right here. No one else goes into the detail that I do. When we talk about the science of style, that's why I love making these videos. So, guys, click on it right here. You'll magically go over it and you're going to learn the science behind looking sexy.